Hey everyone, this is Jacob S. Paulson with jacobspaulson.com and uh, I have on the line with me my great friend Don down in Arizona and uh, Don's been working a lot on getting some internet marketing things going and working in social media and uh, today we're going to help Don set up a Flickr account. Well everyone, uh, just to give you guys an, an introduction, Don, Flickr is, is a powerful website. There's a lot of different types uh, of social media. Uh, there's social uh, networking sites, uh, social syndication sites, bookmarking, etc. And this particular site is the most popular social media site in the arena of pictures, uh, where pictures are the media. Uh, and so there's there's others that are also popular, but Flickr is by far the, the biggest and best. And so we're going to set you up a Flickr account today. So we're just going to, we, we navigated here to just Flickr.com, F-L-I-C-K-R. We're going to click on Create Your Account. Uh, now, if you already have a Yahoo ID, uh, Flickr does uh, coordinate uh, with Yahoo. So if you have like a Yahoo email address or some other Yahoo ID, uh, then you can use that. Otherwise, it's not a big deal. You can just you know, set up a, a brand new um, account. Okay, so here it goes. So Flickr, a Yahoo company, uh, sign into Yahoo. Now, if we uh, don't have a Yahoo ID, we do have to, then by creating a Flickr ID, we automatically have a Yahoo ID. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit sign up. And we'll just start putting in some of uh, Don's information here. Okay, everyone, we just uh, filled out the form there and scrolled to the bottom and hit Create Account. And uh, now we have our uh, account details here. So you can't see it because it's, it's all blurred out, but basically it does show our new Yahoo ID and Yahoo email address, uh, an alternate email, birthday, security question, answer, and postcode. Uh, and so that's, that information should display for you when you do this. And then it says, Ready to Experience Flickr Continue. Uh, so it's automatically going to log us in using that information. It's automatically uh, remembers your Yahoo ID. We just need to put in the password here. And that's not too difficult. So we type that in, hit sign in, and just like that, we're logged into Flickr. Uh, create a new Flickr account. So we need to create a, a Flickr screen name. And this is part of that virtual real estate, kind of like Twitter, where your twitter.com slash something. And that's what this is with Flickr. And uh, obviously, Don, as you know, we want to keep all your social media sites the same so everyone recognizes the names everywhere else. Create new account. Okay, so now we're we're logged in. Uh, just getting us started. Uh, so we obviously want to personalize our profile first, and then we'll upload some photos, and then we'll look for some friends. So let's get your Flickr basics. So let's create a buddy icon. Find image on computer. Um, you know, and uh, just in case anyone's watching this video, I am on the lookout for a, a program that will allow me to change my buddy icon, my my avatar, my picture on all my social media websites at once. So I want to be able to upload a picture in one place and tell it to make that my profile picture on Facebook and Twitter and everywhere. So if anyone finds that, please email me. Okay. Okay. I just Every time you get a new picture, you have to go change it on 20 sites. Okay, so we're good there. Uh, next. Okay, so here uh, is where we're changing our, our custom Flickr um, URL. And we already decided what we want this to be, so we're just going to type in Don Hershey. Hopefully I spelled that right. This computer. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Hershey. You just let me know if I'm spelling anything wrong. Uh, preview. Looks good. Lock it in and continue. Okay, now we personalize. So we just want, you know, things like time zone, things like next. Okay. So we're done personalizing the profile, now let's upload some our first photos here, and this is an easy enough thing to do. Um, and I'll tell you, Don, in the future, when you go to upload pictures to Flickr, there's a lot of easy ways to do it, and we'll show you some in, in uh, future videos. And so there's a lot of programs out there that allow you to upload to Flickr, but we're just going to do it from here, from the Flickr website. Uh, and in future videos, maybe we'll show uh, some of those applications off, some of my favorites. So choose photos and videos, here we go. So. Uh, we've already have some some video or some some pictures that Don emailed me here, uh, so we're gonna go find those here. Uh, here they come, and this is from an event that you were at recently, Don, if I'm not mistaken, for your company. So I'm just gonna select them all and hit open, um, and it says, "Are these all them?" And we say, "Yep, that's them." Uh, we can choose if we want these to be private, which doesn't make much sense most of the time. So we're gonna go ahead and make these uh, public and tell it to go ahead and upload. And you can watch it uh, upload these one by one. It just slowly grabs these and, and, uh, and uploads them. It's kind of fun. I get really excited. Okay, so there we go. I'm just scrolling right through and so you get the little check mark when they're done. Uh, and we see the capital one's got a really cool advertisement over here. Okay. We have 18 total pictures and it's zooming through this pretty fast. Yeah, not 
that, it's three fourths done. You do have to have um, Adobe Flash uh, installed on your browser in order to do this, but that's a pretty standard thing. And if you don't have it installed, it'll prompt you to install it. Okay, finish. Next, add a description perhaps. Um, it's automatically is going to leave description titles uh, for each picture. And so really quickly, just to give you an idea of why we would do this and how you do this, let's go ahead and do that. Now, the beauty of, of Flickr is that it's not just like any other picture uh, software where you just add anything and it's done. Um, in Flickr, we want to be able to um, optimize it. And so you have the option of creating titles, uh, descriptions, and tags. And so if you know anything about uh, web uh, marketing, online marketing, you know that tags are like basically keywords. So if someone comes to Flickr or if someone's even on Google and they search for um, ILG uh, Las Vegas launch and you have some of those keywords in your tags and in your description, they very well may come to Flickr and find your pictures. Uh, now, we're not going to take the time to uh, change all the titles and put in all the descriptions. I'll let you do that on your own time. Uh, but you can see that just, you know, just very briefly, uh, I happen to know this good-looking guy. So I'm just going to put in, uh, is it Garrett with two R's and two T's? Garrett Gunderson. And, and uh, something kind of, uh, as you know, in, in descriptions, it's, it's, uh, we oftentimes will put in a URL. So maybe you put in uh, the MLMMoms.com, which I believe your website, right, Don? Then you can say Garrett speaks out at the ILG Las Vegas launch. And I'll let you can come in here later. I'm just trying to give people an idea how this works. And tags, you know, we may put ILG Las Vegas uh, Garrett Gunderson. So these are things that if people are out there um, searching for, we want them to be able to find you and, and these pictures. So that gives you an idea. So this is good to do for every single picture you ever upload. Uh, because it's, it syndicates it. And maybe if you went on vacation to Mexico and you took pictures of the Rio Grande or something, I don't know. You know, it may not be worth going through all the effort to do tags and things. Uh, but for specifically for things that are business oriented, uh, we definitely want to take the time to do a title, description, and tag. Okay? Uh, so I'm just going to scroll down and, and save those for now, and you'll be able to come in and edit those later. Okay. Save. So it's done. Uh, so now uh, well I'm just going to come back to the home page. Uh, so we're, we're done with steps one and two to get started. Three is fly, find your friends on Flickr. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And of course it wants to import an address book from like an email. Okay, Don, so we're going to go ahead and just hit go. Uh, we're logged into your Google account on my computer. Uh, so this should automatically uh, log you right in. We'll just click on grant access. Um, if you weren't logged in, then we would have to log in first, but uh, we've already done it. It seems like none of the people in your Gmail address book are Flickr members. Uh, so, you, like you said, you don't have a lot of Gmail contacts, um, so it's not a real big deal. Uh, just for fun, you can search for people that are already on Flickr. And I happen to know one guy that's on here, for sure, which would be me. So, we'll real briefly, look just to show you how it works. Um, you can search by someone's name, by someone's email address. And it did find me. It shows that I had 78 items, pictures, I have 16 contacts, and you can view my profile. Uh, so let's just briefly show you a profile. So this is what a profile looks like. And then an easy way you can add this person right up here. Send Flickr mail, uh, add as contact. And so we'll just do that real quick. Uh, there we go. So that you can see how uh, that looks in your uh, in your home page. So now let's go back to home. Okay, so there we go. So we're, we're basically done here. Let me give you a quick idea. Also, you can come up here uh, very quickly. And you can come up to and click on you in this arrow, and you can go right to your account, your profile, etc. So briefly, let's just go to your profile, and you get a, an idea for what this looks like. And, and you can obviously make a lot of changes to your profile. Um, real quick, I'll just pull up the edit profile, and you get a quick idea of some of the things you can put in here. You can put in uh, your website. In fact, let's just real quick, that shouldn't take long. Don Dash Hershey, like so. There we go. Okay, and then you can put it, I'll let you come back in later. You can put in an instant messenger if you use like a MSN instant messenger or something like that. Occupation. Uh, and this is good to come in and, and fill in this information. I know a lot of us tend to skip over it, uh, but you'll want to come in here, Don, and fill this out because people want to know about you. Uh, so let's just go ahead and save that. And this will give you an idea uh, for how some of those things, now your website is, is right there, applicable right on your profile. So this has been a, a brief uh, overview of uh, Flickr.